Soma port lies just 30 kilometers north of the crippled Fukushima nuclear plant. Fishing resumed here last month following the lifting of a ban imposed after it was revealed in July that radioactive water had leaked into the ocean. As the fishermen prepared to cast their nets once again, the head of the local fishing cooperative offered his encouragement. Due to the problem of the contaminated water, I know you all have various concerns. By embarking on this trial fishing, we must show that the fisheries cooperative in Soma Futaba is willing to continue fishing. The fishermen are permitted to land 16 types of seafood. Around 95% of the catch is discarded. Many fishermen are concerned about the future of their livelihood. We are worried whether or not we can actually sell the fish. Opening a new session of parliament this month, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe insisted the radiation leaks do not pose a threat to human health. The local fishermen are suffering from a bad reputation founded on falsehood. The effects on food and water are way below the limits for radiation levels. Just offshore from the Fukushima plant, scientists from the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution in the United States are working alongside Japanese counterparts monitoring radiation levels. Among them is Ken Buesela, who spoke to VOA via Skype. That radiation is moving across the Pacific, but it gets much, much lower, even short distances offshore. Buesela says a bigger concern is the accumulation of isotopes in marine life. Earlier this year, cesium isotopes from Fukushima were found in tuna caught off California. The tuna were caught off San Diego with the Fukushima cesium isotopes. They were 10 to 20 times lower than they had been off Japan. Now, the new releases, the leaks from the tanks, they're changing in character. Strontium-90 has become of more concern because it's a bone-seeking isotope. That will stay in fish much longer. TEPCO, the owner of the Fukushima plant, is building an underground frozen wall to prevent contaminated water from leaking into the sea. It is also experimenting with a system to decontaminate the water. A nuclear expert at the environmental organization Greenpeace, Rihanna Toole, says it's not clear those technologies will work. They already spend a lot of money trying to, to implement them. What uh, Greenpeace wants is that the government really gets in international advice and get as much support as possible to try and find the right solution for this problem. The livelihood of the fishermen of Fukushima depend on finding that solution. Henry Richwell for VOA News, Tokyo.